Special Children's Art Foundation is not really about doing the art and, and creating mural projects, although that's the end result. It is about um, inclusion. That's what this, this organization is about, creating a platform where kids can come together, work together, uh, put any prejudgment aside from their preconceived ideas of what these kids are going to be, you know, when you bring them together. And it is basically about helping them learn to communicate with each other, to work together, have fun together in creating the art. In the process of doing murals, uh, the first part is design, and that is doing sketches and finding the images that you like and putting them into a line drawing. And the composition is very important, so we work all that out. And then once we find something we like, then we add the color the way that we like it, and we have a lot of paint that we have used on other projects and we try to recycle that into our next ones. Also adding in probably 10 to 15 new colors. Put it in through the other way, I think. Okay. Under yeah. that oh, brush. Yeah. Like yeah. I'm in a community service program called The Assistings. It's the teenage version of the Assistance League here in Santa Clarita. And we do a lot of stuff like that. Um, we put on dances for Lark Ranch, which is a um, special ed community up in the Agua Dulce area. And so that's a lot of fun. So I really like to do this kind of stuff. Artwork with them is a lot of fun. We um, sometimes ASB will bring them in and we'll just paint with them. I think a lot of the students who do come in here and they come in, they're kind of intimidated a little, but I think that they both get a 50-50 result out of it. It's a lot of fun for everyone. We found out about this through our district office. They contacted us as one of the classes they thought would do well with the project because um, we promote social inclusion and it's a project for them to work on together with their general education peers and mainly we're just looking to see um, the kids using their social skills and problem solving skills and teamwork skills um, to create something. You got it. Now all the way there, area. Yeah. All in here. There you go. When you want to try to get an edge, yeah. instead of having the brush this way, tip the brush up this way. Oh, okay. See that? And then you can push on it and you can actually make the tip and the bristles form the way you want it to go. And I wish that they had more of these types of things around the country because I know that sometimes we're everywhere because sometimes I know this is not looked at as, oh, we need it, the priority or anything like that. But it's not just about getting the kids in the classes so that they can understand it things. It's also about getting them to understand what they can do for themselves to make things better. Working together, people that you normally don't associate, associate with can be really good because you can become really good friends with them and you might have a lot of things in common. Working together is good because you have friends with you and they can help you. So like if you have difficulty, they can help you try and get to that spot. And painting, it's just cool because then you can add color to the picture instead of black and white. We've worked with every disability there is, and every child has been able to participate on a project and paint on this community project. Um, so um, until you try and get the paintbrush in their hand or take them out surfing or take them skiing or taking them out anywhere to experience life, you don't know until you try it.
Thank you.